And welcome back to part six of What Naruto Had a Sister. Uh, you'll know I cut the last one off early because I actually had to do something I had completely forgotten about up until just the moment. <laughs> if you saw the last video, you know what I'm talking about. Because we're now into the Chunin exam arc, um, I, uh, I had to, I had, and because there is an actual extra variable now with Naruko being part of there, I actually forgot I had to now randomize the tuning exams because one extra person being there can make all the freaking difference. Or taking one person out of there. Now, um, let's see how much time we got here. Uh, we, I mean, it's only 40 minutes. Is that, is that, I'm going to spend a few minutes talking about something. So, there's someone in the comments um, who, is, who is a viewer of mine, and I appreciate your views, who seems to want to be having an argument of some... There we go. Argument of some kind on a topic here. And I... So I get the impression that this person is... And again, I'm not... I don't name names. I don't do that. Um, if you want to find out who this person is, you go right ahead and find him. Um, oh, and I can't actually find them in the comments. Maybe it didn't... Uh, maybe, anyway. Um, I'm not going to name names. If you want to find them, go ahead and do that. I don't like doing that. I don't like calling people out. But they were getting on my case about commenting. It's like, how many times is he going to do Sakura, you know, being belittled by, for about the whole ninja thing? And how come, you know, one of your favorite characters is, is Jiraiya, despite, despite the fact by today's standards he's a creep, you know, spying and girls, he wanted to train this, you know, and Sakura, you know, the, the heading, the whole comic relief thing and all that, and I can't remember everything they said. Uh, you know, I, I'm actually going to see if I can find the comment because I want to at least, if I'm going to answer Whoa, sorry. If I'm going to answer the comment, I want to do it probably. And I wasn't going to respond in the comment because I don't want to get in that freaking kind of debate. Because this, honestly, I'm, I'm finding this kind of debate really tedious because it's like I can tell and I can tell immediately that either this is the case or this is the, how it's coming off that they are very much a fan of Sakura or not as hard on Sakura as a lot of other people are. And they're kind of myth that I kind of diss on Sakura a little too much. Uh, and they're trying to either justify why Sakura is cool in their mind, or is at least not as bad in their mind as they are to me, or they just, they just need an, they're just not understanding why I'm so hard on Sakura. And let me be clear, if you like the character of Sakura, that is totally your right to like the character of Sakura. I am not judging you for liking the character of Sakura. And what's interesting here is I can't find the comment. Did they remove the comment? Um, viewer, who I know you know who... <laughs> I know you know who you are. Did you remove the comment? Because uh, I can't find the comment. Um, no, yeah, I... Uh, oh, no, 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 there. Nope, uh, nope, that's not it. Yeah, I'm... What, maybe, was that it? Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, um, yeah, maybe they removed the comment, because I saw another comment of theirs, uh, where, um, uh, if someone actually commented, if they don't like it, don't watch it, I mean, look, maybe, maybe you remove the comment, either way, I just want to, oh god, we're already at three minutes, uh, real quick, we like what we like for different reasons, I get, by today's standard and all that, Jirai is like, is a creep, but why am I judging him by today's standard? I judge Sakura, A, I do judge her a little bit by his social interaction, by our normal standards, but also by the fact that I don't dig on the trope of just randomly hitting someone like that. Like, after all, especially if the character isn't living, isn't doing anything that makes that okay. Sakura in part one is not at all, she's not comic relief. I mean, she is and she isn't. She's supposed to try to actually be a serious member of the team after all, and it just doesn't work. She's so all that, like dissing on Naruto, hitting him and uh, be, like all the temper. It doesn't fly even in the series because she has done nothing to allow herself. She has done nothing to be able to get away with that in my mind. Jiraiya, yes, Jiraiya's a pervert and all that, and he's creep. But the thing is, we, as, especially as we go into part two and stuff like that, we actually see that Jiraiya, for all of his faults, and all of the three Sonic have major faults, he was a loyal friend, a true ninja, he loved the leaf, he loved Tsunade, and yet he never, after, you know, rejecting the marriage proposal, 
he never like tried to for he never tried to like pursue her again. He accepted that fact. Uh, he even told her that much. Like, you know, I'm grateful to you. Yeah. So for that. And he died protecting, like he died a true ninja. Like the man had so much integrity that he, like, it, it was great. And obviously he was very funny and he had a very likable personality. And that's another thing. Sakura's personality, at least from my standpoint, isn't likable. She, at least not in part one, she's not a very likable person in part one. Okay, now that we did all that, I'm sorry. Sk uh, skip ahead to parts uh, to the six uh, minute marker. I'll maybe even put that in there if you don't want the TED talk. Anyway, all right, we good? We happy? Because I'm not answering that again. Let's move on. So anyway, so we cut now to the actual tuning exams. Kabuto and his team finally uh, make it out of there. Crap! I just remembered. I need to look up those guys' names because I honestly forget those names a lot. Uh, I know one is like Yoro or Yori, um, Team Kabuto, hold on, oh, god, mm, why, 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 uh, come on, uh, to Team Kabuto, uh, what were the two names, Kabuto, uh, but anyway, Team Kabuto gets there, and Kabuto obviously bows out, like he always does, Yori, Yoro's, uh, Yori, Yori's, yeah, okay, along with Yori's, and, uh, Ne yeah, Kabuto's, uh, hold on, what, what is that guy's name? Uh, it is Mis Misumi Sugurui and, Ka and Yori Akado. Now, if I remember correctly, Yori is the one who can absorb chakra, if I'm not mistaken. Double checking that real quick. It's either, it's 50-50 here. Uh, let's see here. Yep, absorb, uh, capacity absorb the physical, spiritual energy of someone. Yep, you can absorb chakra. Cool. All right, so I've done that. I know that Miz uh, Yori and Missouri, uh, Mizumi, Mizumi. Anyway, so Kabuto bows out and's like, "Very well then." Uh, you know, the match will be decided. The two main combatants will, you know, stay in the ring. Now, keep in mind, Naruto does not have the five elemental seal. People have brought that up, and Sasuke's curse mark has been effectively sealed, so he can function as he normally does. Also keep in mind that I did this with a, I gave, I assigned everyone a number and I did a random number randomizer and I just didn't order the matches that come up. So whatever happened, whatever order the matches came up in, that's the order they came up in. So the first match will be Sasuke Uchiha and Shino Abarame. Um, yeah, Sasuke still got the first one. Uh, you know, fate. So, you know, they leave, and Sasuke and Shino, you know, uh, you know, give each other some respect. Because Sasuke, you know, even though he, he did, th he didn't think many in the class were really up to his level or kind of beneath him. He always did have respect for Naruko and Naruto. And I think there were others like Shino who at least handled themselves with, like, dignity that he at least showed some respect to. They're, you sure you want to do this, Sasuke? And, you know, activate a shotgun, bring it, and, you know, they clash. And he's uh, he's got the advantage in hand-to-hand -hand combat against Shino. But immediately he can see little dots on him. He sees these insects, like, ugh! It's like, I see you noticed already. My insects or my insects will make quick work of your chakra if you let them. It's like, ah, uh, so I see. That's how it's going. And unfortunately, you know, the insects, you know, you can't eat. Sasuke's trying to keep them at bay. even fires a fireball. A lot of insects get charred, but she knows able to like to use an insect substitution. It's like you're not going anywhere. And he tries to feed off Sasuke, but the minute they like get near the curse mark, they start to like like the cage. Just the insects react to violence. It's like what's what's going? On? Yeah, it had a little incident earlier, and he suddenly grabs Shino, just oh, hurt! lions barrage, and just boom, puts him down. It's like ugh. And then you know he uses a matter of fire jutsu to kind of like get rid of these strays, like strays, and he's just um. Standing over, he's like, give up, Shino. And he, he's got another fire juice ready, just in case. He's like, give up, Shino. And he's like, I surrender. Uh, and uh, uh, he's like, the winner is Sasuke Uchiha and Yusakura and Naruto and Naruka. And team Seven's like, yeah, woo! All right, yeah, good and uh, good try, Shino. It's like, thank you, Naruto. What? And she is just looking on at Sa uh, Sasuke, like, what happened? Like, what happened to him? Um, <laughs> and everyone else is looking. I was like, oh, what happens? Like, yeah, don't worry about it. Now, and then round two, uh, next match, Naruto Uzumaki, Choji Akamichi. Uh, is it, oh, oh, wow, I'm already, all right. And, you know, goes up and shows like, oh, I'm not feeling too good because I mean, Choji didn't like the fight, really. Um, and especially when he was, especially when he realized who he was going to be paired up against, he was really like, oh, uh, all right, Naruto. Like, come on, Choji, you know, let, let's, let's have a good match. Remember, best man wins. Come on. <laughs> you know, Naruto's got some say, Right, give, don't give, don't hold back, and give me your best. Right, and then uh, you know, 
They scrub. Naruto makes some clones. Eh? Expand your jutsu! Pfft. Human boulder! It's like, whoa! <laughs> Naruto's like trying to get out of there. All right, fine! And, you know, he's some, basically, um, he's trying to stop. He's like, eh? oh, crap! <laughs> and he's just, just having to avoid Choji the whole time. And he's, he, he, like, he just can't get any hits. There's maybe a couple... They're sharp, but not too sharp. There's a couple shuriken. They just bounce off. And it's like, crap, how am I going to get through it? Through them, he's like, and, and then he makes a couple more clones. They try to stop the boulder, but uh, clones pop. And, you know, he just boom, barrels Naruto into a wall. And he's like, oh, it's, like it's over, Naruto. Uh, it's, uh, I, hope it, I hope it didn't hurt you too bad. And he's like, and all of a sudden he hears, oh, I'm, not, I'm just fine, Choji. It's like, what? <laughs> huh? Wait, what are you? <laughs> and then Nar Choji realizes that the Naruto he hit was a clone. Well, let's try something new, and he just fires, surprisingly, a chakra thread. Now, he's only got one, uh, but, um, a ninja wire, I should say. Ninja wire at him. But then, all of a sudden, boom, more, uh, more just appear to grab, latch on the Choji. He's like, oh, what? And like, in the, as the, um, as he's tried to, uh, dig his way out of there, if you will, roll his way out of there. And I was like, yeah, Naruku told me about the little, about uh, the whole thing with, uh, the, with the rock and Neji. I figured I could, if I can use the shadow shirt, Shadow Clone Shuriken Jutsu, I could probably use another thing. I guess I was right. And all of a sudden, Naruto, basically, as soon as Choji gets out, Naruto's using Naruto and a bunch of clones, use all their momentum, and basically kind of yo-yo him around a bit, just boom, boom. Just, ah, ah, and Naruto's like, oh, man, I nearly just popped my arm out on that one. Uh, but he's got to, he's, he's getting ready, he's got to cut it, and all of a sudden, dust clears after the landing, Choji in the ground, Choji's like, uh, <laughs> it's like, ah. Uh. Choji is unable. Uh, Choji Akimichi is unable to battle. The winner is Naruto Uzumaki. Yeah! All right, Naruto. So uh, you know they get Choji out there. Sorry about the Choji. Oh, good fight, Naruto. Good fight, man. Uh, next up, Kiba Inuzuka and Ino Yamanaka. <laughs> so they come up and uh, okay, now you don't you don't really want to hurt me, do you, Kiba? Uh, and Kiba's like, mm, no, I don't really. But I do want to win, so tough luck, you know. Uh, what? Uh, all right. Then it's a crud, and it's a yep, and then just all four, and he gets ready, and just poo, just as he did Naruto, just poo, oh, and then you know, just poo, it's knocked out on the wall. The problem for Eno is she has no physical capacity whatsoever in a combat scenario. She she is a supplementary character. Now, in theory, she could have beaten <clears throat> Kiba. In theory. But there is also the problem of Akamaru there as well. So, um, uh, so, so unfortunately, even though she could maybe get like a clone or substitution jutsu, maybe in time, the fact is Kiba, so could have Naruto in theory, and Kiba just moved so fast that he couldn't get him in time. Although he just was trying to test his power out. I mean, like, Eno, I think is just not prepared and just gets knocked out. So, well, the Eno winner is Kiba, <laughs> Kiba, uh, Inuzuka, yeah, it's like, oh, it's like, sorry, yeah, yeah, uh, next up, we have Keen, and I don't know Keen's last name, versus Sakura Harano, and now this fight is a bit more interesting, because they've actually interacted before, Keen and Sakura are in a hand-to-hand -hand fight, definitely, and Sakura is kind of pushing her a little bit, and trying to get, kind of get revenge a little bit for what happened, uh, in the forest, she even pulls out a couple of kunai, and just, you know, kind of, you know, tries to aim for her a little bit, uh, not doesn't want to kill her, but he definitely trying to maybe like nick her, all that stuff. Uh, and you know, Keen's throwing her senbon, and eventually, you know, uh, Sakura's like, mm, she sees the senbon, and she's wondering what's going on. It's like, yeah, you're wondering, hmm. <laughs> uh, and she explains the, you know, the genju so she's using, basically using sound. But Sakura's just looking at her, and then boom, <laughs> and just boom, and just uh, go up, and then she uh, uh, give up, and like, I, I give up. How? How'd you, how'd you not even get affected by Jutsu? Hmm? It just pulls out the earplugs. It's like, yeah, when the minute I uh, figured I was, the minute I knew I was going up against one of you guys, I knew you'd be using sound, so I just put these in before the match. It's like, ah. <laughs> um, so yeah, there you go. And even Dose is like, oh god, I never even thought, that, I never even considered that. Uh, and Saga's like, oh man, that's embarrassing. Next we have Mizumi versus Go Mizumi uh, what was his name again? Hold on. Uh, Mizumi Surugi, Surugi versus Gara of the Sand. Uh, and, um, yeah, it's like, I got you. You're not, 
or he tries to like wrap around the same, he like gets him, just goes like, that's enough, and then man just throws a broken but not dead Missouri to the ground, just walks away. Like, oh man. Next up, Naruko Uzumaki versus Ten Ten. Insert last name here. We don't know her last name. It's not Lee. Uh, <laughs> um, actually, his la actually Lee's last name is actually Rock. Believe it or not. Um, but um, but it's it's not Rock. The, no one uh, anyway. Well, not in the future anyway. We don't know what her last name actually is originally. But Ten Ten and Naruko just get in and say, "Oh, right, we finally get to go up against each other, huh? Yep, this is gonna." Be yeah, no matter what, give it, give it your all. And it's like, you bet. And then yeah, they're going toe to toe. She's pulling out some weapons, definitely. Uh, Naruko's pulling out Shadow Sh Clone Shuriken, and, and they're, you know, they're going toe to toe. And Naruko is the better in hand to hand combat, and Ten Ten knows this. They've been on teams missions before. They've trained together before. And they actually, they have a lot of respect for each other. I can see them being really good friends. Um, so you know, Ten's like, I learned this trick from you. Uh, you know, it's like twin uh, rising dragon, and she actually shows off the new uh, her new tank. It's like, ah. and she, and she uh, Naruto, and Naruko's getting ready. Like, you didn't think I'm done with that yet? And then all of a sudden, she makes a hand sign. It's like, wait, you didn't. And although it's going to use up a lot of chakra, and she knows this, it's like Shadow Clone Shuriken Jutsu. And all of a sudden, they all multiply. Does it? Like, Shadow Clone Shuriken Jutsu. It's like doing the best you can, but it's getting overwhelmed, and Naruko's dodging and he gets cut up. It's like. Ah. <sighs> Not done yet. And she just throws the, uh, you know, she's got the weapons on uh, the wires like she did, and starts, you know, manipulating them. And you know, Rook's like trying to get getting through the weapons, like uh, grabs them, like uh, pulse. Uh, ten ten, just uh, sorry, ten ten, boom, just go, uh, and then just puts her on the ground. So Ten Ten gets knocked out, and then Naruko goes over and says, like, "Good match, Ten Ten. I didn't, I couldn't, I can't believe you actually learned the Shadow Clone Shuriken Jutsu." Uh, sure, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, I, but I don't have your, I don't have your freak reserves. Oh God, that's, I'm so tired. <laughs> so yeah, it's all right. I got you, I got you. And there, there's a lot of respect there, and like matches won. They have a good friend smile, and I was like, "Yeah, those are, there to go, guys." So ne the next match. Zaku versus Rock Lee. And it's, uh, you really think, you really think, just because you think you can beat me, you lost the Dotsu, you stand no chance against me. Now, his arms are, in fact, broken. That whole scenario did happen where, where Sasuke broke his arms. It's like, I still got one arm. And, you know, Lee just, poof. It's like, what? Boom! Just knocks him out. It's like, well, that was... I am sorry. I am sorry. I would have preferred to fight you at your best, not when you were injured. Please forget... Please forgive my rudeness. <laughs> and then he walks up. Winner is Rock Lee. Next match, Hinata Hyuga versus Konkuro. Because it's randomized, you know, as much as I would have liked the Neji versus Hinata fight, um, it's it didn't happen. It wasn't in the cards this time around. It'll eventually happen again. Some eventually, when I have to re-randomize these again, you're gonna get matches that just line up again like they did originally. Either way, though. So, you know, Hinata is is not feeling very, you know, is not the most confident. Conqueror does scare her a little bit, but, you know, Naruko and Naruto, and, you know, give her a, come on, you can do it, Hinata! Come on, show what you got, show what you got! <laughs> show that rock kill face dude, douche what you got! It's like, Ugh, that little brat, and then Hinata's like, mm. and, you know, Byakugan, and comes in, and because of her Byakugan, she can tell that this isn't Conqueror, this is Crow, and she just... <laughs> Bypasses Crow's like what? And then boo, doo, 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 hits Conqueror in it, and the bag just ah what? And then poof <laughs> just takes him down before he can ever use his puppet to its fullest extent. Just, uh. So Hinata ultimately is the winner. Hinata Hyuga is the winner. Neji sees this and just gives a. Of course, she, of course she won. The opponent was far too easy, a easy of an opponent for even her. <laughs> Match number nine: Ten, ten Tamari versus Shikamaru Nara. Now, admittedly, there isn't the hole in the ground and they're not outside. However, there has been a bit some destruction to this arena, so I do see that him using that to his advantage. And ultimately, yeah, and it's because this is the, this is not this is the first time she's seen him use his abilities. Yeah, Shikamaru still wins the fight. Uh, but I did have Shikamaru winning the fight. I do realize now he might just give up. But I do see Shikamaru still doing the winning scenario here and winning the fight and just boom, knocking Tamari out like he did uh, originally. Which, by the way, when he fought Kane, that didn't make any sense, the fact that he can, in fact, feel 
we learned this from like Gara and like the other uh, other uh, things too that he can't experience what the others are feeling with his shadow. So why? So is, does he just have an extremely hard head, or was that like an error in like the the storytelling at that point? Um, I don't know. Either way, the uh, so the interesting thing here is there actually is three extra people. So someone asked, is Noriko going to get the buy? Well, no, because. They didn't do that in the finals, so they're not going to do that here. So, there's Neji versus Yori. Uh, Yori? Yori? Uh, Yori. Uh, yo, yo, or, yo, Rory. Yo, Rory? Yori. Whatever. Yori. Um, and he's like, oh, you, are, you ready? are you ready, boy? And then, you know, he comes in and tries to grab Neji and starts shock up. And then he's like, boom, 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 boom. no, boom. And just puts him down in the ground fast. Like, well, that was Neji wins. Final match, Neji versus Dosu. Uh, it's like, uh, you really think I'm going to let you get uh, get near me? You're crazy. It's like, but whatever. It's like, please, Destiny has already decided. The match begin. It's like, if you think I'm not crazy enough to get near you unless I have to. It's like, well, unfortunately, I'm... Eh, unfortunately, you don't have a choice. And he, bum, and he rushes, and he's quick. But Dosu's right, and just... Boom! Just, uh, Neji just... Uh, uh, it's like, and he explains his technique... Uh, Neji just, and unfortunately he is, he's just, uh, now time to end this, huh? And then Neji luckily saw his Biakon and can see the attack coming, so he just, it's like, what? It's like, whoop, poop, poop, poop. It's like, ah, uh, 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 the minute I was on the ground, I just, I knew you'd have to physically hit me to grit, do the finishing blow. So I just had to wait for you to uh, make that blow. Or make that move. <sighs> I'll get. I'll. Um, uh, you have my respect. Your attack is quite. This is tight, scary. But destiny was on my side, and you know he walks off. So uh, everyone, you know, everyone's there. Everyone's finished. So I was like, now draw lots for the finals. And so you know, everyone draws a lot. Match number one: Sasuke Uchiha versus Neji Huga. This is all randomized, folks. Shikamaru versus Rock Lee. Gara versus Sakura, Naruto versus Naruko. Oh yeah! I now to be fair, I might uh, I might because we know what the plan was for Gara, so I might move a couple of these around a little bit just to. And I'm not going to change the matches. I'm going to move them around so that it the, the order makes sense for the storytelling. And then finally, it's Hiba Kiba versus Hinata. So yeah, and everyone's like, "Good luck, train hard, and good and good luck." Everyone, you know, their friends congratulate each other. And Nar everyone is kind of like looking for Kakashi, but Kakashi immediately goes to has Sakura, Naruko, and Naruto, and says, "Look, uh, I, I you're already trained Sok Sasuke." And to which Naruko actually points out, ah, well, you, "You're you are the only one with a Sharingan Sensei, so I guess it makes sense you'd be the one training him." And Nar Naruto actually has to stop and, ah, "All right, fine." But one of us, don't worry, I found a better trainer for you guys, and so. <laughs> All of a sudden, uh, you know, they feel a chill behind us. Like, hey, Pinky, how you doing, Uncle? Will you be so? Uncle uh, decided to take care, take care, hold of you, Sakura. As Kurt and I will, I was going to actually ask Kurt and I, but she's going to be busy training Hinata. Um, well, actually, I actually think Neji. Well, no, Neji and. So I actually have to take that back. Kurt and I would come for. Um, Kurt and I would come for Hinata. Anko would come for Naruko. Because they're, it's implied they're it, a lot of people in like fan fiction make them friends, like good friends. As far as we know, they don't really hang out at all in real life, like in the so story. But maybe they could be friends. I mean, let's just assume they are. Uh, so they come together and say, "Hey there, Blondie." Uh, it's like, uh, it's like, oh, hi, Uncle. It's like, oh no. It's like, oh yeah, you're. A, I got you for a month. Uh, this is gonna be so much fun. <laughs> it's like, uh, uh, and Sakura's like, uh, don't worry, uh, don't worry, Naruto, she'll mostly be okay. I say, so what about me, what about me? Oh yeah, don't worry, Naruto, I've got you covered. Who's my teacher gonna be? That would be me. Huh? Oh, not you! <laughs> so, yeah, I should note that actually, no, Hi Hayashi, learning that you know the past, would actually take more interest, probably, in her. Because, like, okay, she actually passed. Interesting. Alright, we'll see if she got what it takes. And Neji, because we know Neji also trained on his own, so he's still going to be training on his own. 
So that is where part six ends. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, if you want us to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know we'll do a review of it at some point. Hit that bell if you want to be notified. Thanks for watching. I'll see you folks next time.